Hello Python here. This is Sharo and in this Dev Guides Python Tips and Tricks video, we will learn how to make digital Python GUI clock with the help of Decanter module. To continue along this video, you need to download and install latest version of Python and set up Visual Studio code. I'll provide links to that in description as well as cards above for your convenience. So let's begin. <laughs> After successful installation of Python and Visual Studio code, we can now begin our coding process. Let's install dkenter package to our computer using the pip command in the terminal. So let's write pip install dk. It will install tk module into our computer. As you can see, I have already installed tk package into my computer, so it said requirement already satisfied. After this process, I would recommend restarting Visual Studio code so it can import dkenter module properly. So let's create a new Python file named clock.py. py is the Python extension. File is created successfully as we can see. So let's begin our coding process. First thing first, we need to do all the imports to our file so we can use them in our file. So let's start with dkenter import. Let's write from dk enter import steric means everything we are importing everything after that we'll write from dk enter dot ttk import everything after that we'll do the import from time package from time import strf time so our imports have been done after our imports we need to create that window in which our time will appear so we'll write root equals to tk we have called the tk method to initialize this root variable after that we need to title that window we'll type root dot title and here we'll type in clock clock after that, we need to initialize that time function, which will actually deal with bringing up time and displaying it into that window. So we'll create that function, we'll write def time. And we'll start with a string variable, string equals to strf time. And here we will define percentage h for hours percentage m for minutes and percentage s for second space percentage b for am and pm after that we'll type in label dot config here we'll type in text equals to string so here we're making the text equal to string so it can display into the window after that, we'll type in label dot after. After displaying label, what should happen? And here we'll type in 1000, that is equals to one second. And time function should be recalled. So after every one second, the time function should be recalled. So the time can be refreshed after one second. After this, we have to initialize the label variable. Label is equals to label. We have to pack it in root, comma. Now we have to type in the font. Font should be equals to DS digital. As I have this DS digital font with me in TTF format, so I will give the link in description so you can download it and install it for yourself. You have to simply right click on it and install it for all users. And this font will be installed on your computer. So let's just give the name here. ds dash digital. After that, we have to give the font size. I'll go with 80. Now let's just give the background color should be black. Now give the foreground color. Let's go with cyan. 
After that, let's just go with label packing into the window, label.pack, anchor, should be center. After that, we'll call in time function. So it can display time into the window. And at the end, we'll go with main loop that will actually control this main window. So our coding process has been done. Let's just run this code and see if it's actually working. Let's just hit run. And here you go. We have our digital crock right in front of us. It's working perfectly. Everything is perfectly in sync. So that's how we create a digital clock with the help of TK Enter package in Python. If you found this information useful, consider subscribing and hit the like button. If you have any query, consider commenting and I'll get back to you. See you in the next video. Have a good day.